You're now listening to the Who Got Downs podcast brought to you by 2K Life Network. Are you ready? With the first pick in the NBA draft. I'm the best ever. There's never been anybody as good. But we talking about practice, man. What are we talking about? 2K Life Network. Practice? That's terrible. We talking about practice, man. Mm, let's be ready to rumble. 2K Life Network. Are you ready to take? You know why I'm here. And this fall, I'm going to take my talents to South Beach. Tune in. Let's prove it. What's good, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Who Got Down Podcast. This is a special podcast. We got one of our Soul Flow athletes, Mr. Marcus Robeson. What's up, Marcus? What's good, bro? Chilling, chilling. Um, definitely, I'm a Gator fan. All our listeners know I'm a huge Gator fan, so I already knew about Marcus growing up. Uh, Both my brothers went there. Oh, yeah? So I don't went to FAU, but um, even at FAU, I used to root for the Gators like crazy. So I knew Marcus. Um, it's time at UF. But before that... Um, played at St. Thomas. Yeah. What was yeah. your senior year? Y'all went 15 and 0. Yeah. Played Tampa Plant. Tampa Plant. Yeah. In the state championship. Killed those boys. <laughs> <laughs> well, we y'all y'all ranked like what number like number one and number three some some top junk in the nation like like. I don't remember exactly, but we was up there. In the we was top up there. Three. But yeah. just if you uh familiar St. Thomas powerhouse down here. Did a thing out there. How many how many people from St. Thomas you think are playing in the league right now? Shit, you playing with one right now with um, St. Yeah, Louis. Marcus, Marcus, Marcus yeah. Uh, we probably got about 20, 25, something like that. It's fucking ridiculous. Fucking yeah. ridiculous. But we're going to play a little quick um, question game with you. Which okay. Pretty much just answer off the top of the dome. Okay. Whatever comes. All right, so who's your favorite rapper in the game right now? Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. Old yeah. Wayne, new Wayne, it don't matter? He he did it, so, you know, it's still right. him now. <laughs> All right, let it go. Uh, favorite athlete growing up? <laughs> oh, man. I don't know, but Mayweather, my favorite athlete. Okay. Yeah. Mayweather. You can't argue with that. That's a money team. What's your favorite yeah. sneaker, though? I got to go with Nike. Nike. That's a big... What, what type of Nike, though? Oh, shit. Uh, you anyone. say Nike, that's, you know that's a lot of Any, things. What you like? Anyone, you know what I mean? You know Nike what got a okay. wide variety, you know? Uh, if you weren't a football player, what would you be? Yeah. yeah. I got to say that. <laughs> you can say whatever. Nah, man, I, um, <laughs> you about to say rapping? I'd nah, I, I probably try rapping, but, you know, <laughs> that don't work all the time for everybody. Hey, so little Yachty's a rapper. So a anybody. firefighter or <laughs> something. A firefighter? Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, who, would you, who, who, would you, who would your celebrity crush be? Uh, I can't say that. I got. <laughs> oh I, yeah, I got, you going you know, to L.A. So nah, I feel man. you. <laughs> I can't say that. Y'all want to spill. Yeah. Oh, true, true, true. Yeah. It's a crush thing, though. You know. All right, like, if, I, if I was to pick yeah. somebody, an ideal person, it'd probably be someone like. Like, about to say Sinai D. Long. Long. Okay. Nah, you know, See, I knew where you were headed yeah. to. Some of Sinai Late the D. Uh-huh. Long, one of them classic yeah. joints. Like you can't them. get in trouble with them shits. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> favorite show growing up? Would you like watching? What's your favorite one? You can only pick one, though. All right. Rocket Power. Rocket Power. Yeah. All right. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Okay. If you could travel to, um, to any place in the world, what would it be? I'd probably go to Paris. Okay. Yeah, Paris. And um, Hillary or uh, Trump? Come on, I, I don't vote. Okay, so you don't. Can, nah, not That's at all. So, you yeah. never voted before. Nah, I never vote, so I won't pick nobody. Okay. <laughs> Let me. What's your mindset behind that? You don't feel like? I just don't. You know what I mean? Interview. I feel it's already set, so I don't really get into. You like how you should carry the shit rig? Nah, man. Nah, <laughs> man. I just don't. Don't pick. You know it is what it is. Nah, man. I feel you. Feel you on that. All right, so let's go back into it. You okay. play the same times you played for um, legendary coach. Smith. Yeah, Coach Smith, man. Yeah. Cool. Well, how was dude. your um did you always feel like you would be a football player? Like when did you first like well like when did it kick in? I, I bet like it's the same time as it's like a mini college. Yeah. So I, I would figure, but like when did it hit you like, yeah, I want to do this for real, for real? When I went to St. Thomas my eleventh grade year, um, I went to Boyd Anderson my tenth grade year. Okay. So it was a little up and down. Yeah. I wanted starting and stuff. And before that I was at course being charter my ninth grade year. Um, but it hit me probably like my 11th grade year. And before that, like I said, I wanted to be a firefighter, you know what I mean? Okay. Always growing up, going to the fire station, stuff like that. But That's when you started taking it for real? Yeah, for, for real. 11th grade, 11th grade. going to camps and stuff like that. Yeah. 
Who played in front of you at the corner? I know because it was um where at St. Thomas. At St. Thomas, yeah. It was um Cody Rez and Keon Payne. Okay, so team. you had two great role models. Is that one of the reasons why you went to UF? Um, not really, but you know I knew Cody and yeah. I felt comfortable because it's it's at home. You know right what I mean? there, and I was like Must Champs. I think I was his first recruiting class. Yeah. So was How was it like playing for Coach uh, Must Champ? He was a cool dude. You know he very upfront, yeah. candid person. You yeah. Know? Very lively personality, definitely. So your time in Florida, mm-hmm. you enjoy that time up there? Hey, yeah. I went to Florida a couple of times um, before. Like, was it was my senior year, my so, freshman year. So I understand. I used to go to Southwest and play ball over there okay. and stuff like that. And it'd be, it'd be cool, man. It's, yeah. it's a you know, nice vibe. Yeah, it definitely like a, is. Not too much on you yeah. unless you're going out to the locals. And then that'd yeah. be a whole different story. <laughs> For real, bro. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't go out a lot, but, you know. True. It's like a mini, mini tally if you want to you know, yeah. compare it to something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nah, definitely a good vibe up there. But your, your um, Florida definitely stacked at the secondary position out there. They call it, what, a DBU? Yeah. Y'all, y'all at LSU be battling about that. <laughs> but your, what's your opinion on that? Y'all, y'all think y'all got it? Like I'm a Gator, so I'm of course, us, so, of course, you know, of course. We got a lot, lot, lot of people in the league too. You know, they Easy. do too. But you know, we got people standing out too. I know you. You came in as a freshman. You you got a lot of playing time. Yeah. Um. You had a lot of people in front of you. Did you? You didn't, you didn't play there when um. Let me not get this wrong, but um, yeah, Janoris was out there. No, who he pl- left. He left right before you got in there. Yeah. Okay, but like, yeah, Janoris. I know you played with um Parafoy, yeah, big time. Yeah. And then Vernon Hardways came in after you a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Jay, did you play with Tabor too and all them boys? Nah, they, they came out there after you. Okay, but it a continue the tradition just keep on rolling. What, what did you learn the most of your time at um at Florida? You got to compete. You, you know what I mean? It's always competition. Yeah. You know what I mean, you can't never get complacent. Yeah, absolutely. Cause everybody good. Especially. Toughest, toughest matchup you had in college. Oh, I got. I say, um, Justin Hunter. He Justin was at, Hunter, Tennessee. Yeah, yeah, my sophomore year, bro. He, I was watching he, some tape a little. He bit ain't score on me, but he got off on me. He had a couple yards, you know. You, you know what I was gonna say? I thought you were gonna say. Wow. Uh, Mike Evans. Nah, he he was strong as of he course, was strong as hell. Boy, he was strong, boy. but. He wasn't the toughest match, though, because, you know, he's slow. So yeah, can. so you can keep up with him. But just yeah. 100, you're in complete yeah. package. Well, yeah. He was playing in Tennessee for a little bit, right? Yeah. Okay. Dude went second round. He was nice. Yeah. Okay. I, I wasn't expecting that answer right there, but that's mm. what's up. But, um, yeah, other than that, um, you had you were injured a lot. Yeah. You think that kind of um, affected you, like especially, like, coming into the draft? Yeah. Because coming into coming into UF, you were ranked, like, the second best corner in the nation. Yeah. Really high up there. And um, a lot of injuries or whatnot. What was one of the reasons why most listeners don't know, but you left after your junior year? Uh, because, like, you know, I just felt I was ready to start my career and what I really want to do. And I felt I pretty much locked the top receivers down, not getting scored yeah, on in college. In SEC, yeah, absolutely. So I just felt like I was ready to compete on a higher level. Did you I, feel, like, disrespected uh, by not getting drafted? I know that junk came a lot of questions. In or did way, you like in, when that happened? Like, were you like, damn, I should have stayed one more year? Like, that, what that was your came, thought process? That came across my mind, but uh-huh. then I was like, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm very spiritual too, so I know everything happened for a reason. Amen. And it only made me stronger. I mean, that's why I'm, where I'm at today, cause I understand. Cause lead, yeah, I understand, bro. Before your reward comes, before before your reward become. I mean, before your reward comes the trials and you know what I mean yeah it, it, it's, it's it's a process it's humiliation bro you know what I mean so I understand it and it made me strong as a person I can honestly say I wasn't as focused as I was then I am now you know what I mean so it was all for the better like you said that I feel like yeah God said you spiritual I'm the same way yeah. put you through little stuff yeah. to test you to make you grow because if you let's say you get drafted in the second or third round you probably not having that same mentality that you got now where you're trying to grind for everything <laughs> then you coming in so everything happens for a reason for real for bro. real for real i seen I that. still would have been blind to the yeah. people around me all that you'd have got more stuff, hoopla bro. and then more fake people around yeah. you and all that type of stuff yeah it's that real. comes that that comes with it but just just in that just in that time did that did it, it affect you too much I was hurt just, though. I yeah, because I know you hurt. Yeah, you know what I mean, but I don't think not a lot of a lot of people expected that. I remember because as a Gator fan, I'm like, yeah, they, they were talking about. You. They said you was some time and shots. Reading even today, they were like first round pick, late first, early late second. For, yeah, the latest. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, 
you see all those rounds go by, well, I know it's something more than what mm -hmm. I'm thinking, you know what I mean? But you know, I had a good, strong support system for my mom and my person that I was with at the time, so they just kept me up, you know? And everything worked out, so... Uh, yeah. Guess you uh, went to the St. Louis Rams. Yeah. What was one of the decisions for going there? You just looked at the secondary. It's like, I can come in here and make like an impact. Because like, you, yeah. that's one of the things about getting drafted. Like, you kind of choose yeah. on your location. Yeah. So it's a blessing in the skies almost. Um, the biggest decision of that, man, they offered me more than the other team of for one. Of course. And for two, um, I knew Janoris. He ah. was there. And he was good. I, I looked up to him coming out of high school. You know, he went to Pahokia and all that. So, I felt like I, I was in a comfortable a position. Mental. Yeah. Yeah, so he was. Man, he, was he, got that, he got that big payday over there, boy. Yeah, yeah, Man, great it, player, bro. Yeah, he is. He is. And then, so, first year, you actually got, you know, some good playing time, good experience. Yeah. You got a pick off um, Russell Wilson. Yeah. I'm a dog. He's married now. You see that? You see? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Congrats. Everything, everything. But uh, you definitely um, solidifying yourself in it. What would you say is your... I would say the hardest transition coming from college to the NFL. Just the speed, you know. Just the same as coming from high school to the uh -huh. picking to up college. on college. Yeah, just the speed. It's pretty much it. And how's how's that lifestyle being a professional athlete? Man, it's Look. a lot of Hoopla. temptation, of course. You know what I'm saying? Of course. But you know, you just gotta stay focused, bro. But it it's it's fun. You know, you get to do what you want. Mm -hmm. When you say stay focused, like, what are some things that you do to help you remain focused? Like, who are the people, like, what what separates you? Because that's easier said than done. Right. Because you watch the 30 for 30s on a lot of these dudes, and, yeah, they can say the right thing, but, like, they don't have that. That strategy. You know? Right? Yeah. yeah. To to make it happen. What what some things that make you remain focused on this journey? Just having the right people around you. Um, try to hang with people that's doing the same thing as you or on a bigger level than you, you know what I mean? Absolutely. I think that's um, the biggest thing. And just be good to others, first of all, you know what I mean? Because only good going to come back to you. Yeah, you're not one of those people like who um get caught up in the hoopla. and then, nah. uh Because I, I, like, the first time I met you, like, CJ, I knew you from CJ and yeah. whatnot. You always came all very humble to me, straightforward yeah. and whatnot. How was that? Like, was that hard to maintain? Like, uh, just coming from a regular perspective, like, once you get the fame, because you're a, you a professional football player now. Yeah, yeah. Now you got chicks who just going to come after you, and then niggas who just going to, you know, approach you because, oh, that's Marcus Robeson yeah. type stuff. Like, But, like, how is it, is it hard to maintain just being humble, but the same keeping a distance because you don't want to surround yourself in a, you know what I'm saying, in the wrong settings and stuff like that? So you can't be friendly to everybody. Yeah, right. Well, I, I, but you don't want to come off as, as, as arrogant as a, or cocky. Exactly. Nah, like I say, bro. I'm like you say, I'm humble. You know I, what I mean? Like yeah. I pray every day. You know what I mean? That I stay humble. You know what I mean? So that's the start of my day. You know what I mean? And I see everybody for who they are, what mm -hmm. they show me. You know what I mean? So I don't judge people at all. I agree. I let them just, you know what I mean? Show me they'll their show, cars yeah. in time. You know they'll what I mean? They'll show themselves. They'll show themselves. <laughs> show themselves. So, I just see it as that, bro. I'm not. Not into all that hype, you know what I mean? I treat myself. Of course, <laughs> but it? So it was your, you about to be your third year in the league. Yeah. And then did you pay attention to the whole relocation thing from St. Louis yeah. to L.A.? Yeah. What was your thoughts on that, like, when it was happening? I was excited. But then <laughs> I was a little hurt because, you know, you felt you started to like the city, starting to of learn course. your way around. And, and then that switch But it wasn't like You switch. were moving to Montana or some shit right, this, is, right, this, is, right. this is LA yeah. LAX But then I understood It was a A, a business decision So yeah. it was better for Everybody Huge Yeah Put a, a city in the NFL The biggest city In the United States You know In the NFL now so that, that You know That's only a up You know We touched upon A little bit earlier um, Before um, Off air The Temptations of LA That's something that ever Cross your mind. I know your mom had to talk to you about it. It was like, um, hey. Man, not really, <laughs> though. I just stay out the way. We stay, like, hour outside the city. So, it's just staying out the way. And you have your own time. You decide what you want to do. You know yeah, what I mean? Y'all grown now. Y'all got <laughs> no much I, champ on y'all backs. So. Yeah. So, temptation is about an hour away. So, it's hard. If you if you going to it, that's on you. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of clubs out there, man. There's a Jeez. lot of... 
a lot of you know people go out of LA for the limelight. You yeah. feel me? And just boy, I even seen it um today that they um got some of your players. They gave him a reality um show. Oh yeah, want to be on it. That's what's uh, up. It was um forgot. I wish I had it um a couple of your Mary um I, uh, Kenny Britt is one of them. Okay. That's and what's up, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. They gave him their own little. They're gonna be following him around the transition out of them in L.A. I didn't so, see that. Nah, yeah. Nah, I, I'll, sh- I'll show you. But yeah, so it's, it's, it's already happening because y'all in the biggest. Y'all in the mecca for entertainment. Mm-hmm. So there's gonna be em- entertainment opportunities, and that's also a, bit, a good thing for you for like oh. endorsement purposes and whatnot oh. and everything like that. Oh. But then there's you know with the with the good gonna come the bad, and and all that comes in between that. Oh. So like. How do you, how do you, like, are you prepping yourself for, like, what it might be? Because the whole focus level, I feel like, yeah. St. Louis is cool. Yeah. But L.A. is a whole different beast. Yeah. Like, they used to tell people to stay away from Miami yeah. just because of the, <laughs> you know? You know? But we from, you know, we from South yeah, Florida. So, we so understand. Like, we grew up a little fast, so we true. know how to, have, how to avoid the deception of everything, you know? That's true. That's true. But it's a little easy for me. For others, you, you know, you might have to question that. But, oh, yeah. You know? Ah, that's real. That's real. Mm-hmm. As that's coming from uh, somebody from South Florida, and we seen all the scammer hoes. Huh? <laughs> 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 yeah. wow. But nah, that's real. What, what's, what's your goals that you got? Do you set goals for yourself? Yeah. Um, as an athlete, or you just you know try to get better every day? Like, well, how do you do as in preparation coming into a new year? Yeah, you know, every every day, like you say, just try to get better. Um, first every day, real just acts real. Well, I, I set them goals secretly, you know okay. what I mean? Until it's not something I accomplish that you put, okay. Yeah. yeah. But I just say, bro, just get better every day. Every day just try to make at least two, three plays and let it transfer, you know, to the to the game. Absolutely. So y'all got a new quarterback. Yeah. Y'all got a great running back. Yeah. The defense, I could say one of the best. Y'all got Aaron McDonald, y'all yeah. got the D line is amazing, which definitely helps out the secondary. Yeah. What, what's your what's your optimistic outlook looking forward coming into this season? Oh man, I, I think we're gonna be a lot better. You know what I mean? We're in a better environment. Everybody oh, yeah. a lot more happy. You know, so I think we're gonna do better than we did the last two years I've been there. How's it like playing for Coach Fish? He's the coolest coach I ever had. For bro. real, like, that's a big for statement. For real, for real, he's the best coach I ever had. I was reading something about him before, like, uh, cause Steve McNair was talking about him before and how much personal he is with his players and whatnot, mm-hmm. you know, and all that. But I, like, you see Coach Fisher, you want I don't know, you don't really get too much yeah. from him, just from an outside perspective. But give give us a give us some listeners like kind of so they can know what kind of personality Coach Fish is. Coach you got- Fish, uh, I could say he he's he's cool. Uh huh. He can have a conversation with you like this right now. That's Man. how cool he is, bro. That's real. Yeah. You don't see too many coaches like that, especially on that level. But I <laughs> heard talking to some athletes, you know, keep it we keep it straight with you yeah. or whatnot. That's what's up. So any <clears throat> like what would you say is one part of your game that you feel like you definitely had to pick up on going into the season? Like what you've been working on this off season. I know you've been grinding, I've seen you on the Instagram. This, what you've been working on on this off season? Man, more explosive out of my breaks. And, okay. You know, that's important. And just make my angles more sharp. And that's pretty much it. And I'm, just getting better mentally and knowing the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I asked you this in college. What was the toughest um, receiver matchup that you had to face in the NFL so far? Shit, um, everybody Everybody's good, bro. Good. Yeah, that level. Everybody. You Even right. the second string, third <laughs> string, they good, bro. Practice that's squad real. dudes, bro. You nah, be like, real. damn. Every, every day's a, uh, <laughs> you can get exposed. Every like, day, bro. Every day. <laughs> that, 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 that in itself right there is like, because you, you hear a lot of people when, you know, they talking about athletes and, you know, we watching it as a fan perspective. We like, that boy garbage. Right. Or like, I be trying to tell people when we watching basketball or something like that, they be talking about like, Della Dover. And right. they be like, yeah, he trash. I'm like, yo, he's in the league for a reason. Exactly. He's a professional for a reason. So don't underestimate just because you've seen her on TV. Like, <laughs> this dude is not, he won't kill you in a game of 21 or something like that. All right. That boy, all right. <laughs> you used to play a little ball yourself? You I try? played travel like two years, but I stuck with football. It helped me with, with, with playing DB. A little bit. Uh, yeah. I played DB at South yeah. for a little bit. I yeah. played soccer growing up. I thought that helped me yeah. a lot with it, too. 
Yeah. Um, you paying attention to any other sports? Yeah, you know, this FIFA that's going on right you now. You a FIFA? You on FIFA too? I, I can play a little bit, you know what I mean? I play with um, Germany. <laughs> I don't know if you want any problems nah. with Gary though over there. Nah, nah, he got it. <laughs> nah, I, I, I watch FIFA when <laughs> I watch FIFA. Um, I mean, I say I play FIFA and I be watching the, um, the soccer. The little yeah, World Cup that's going on mm-hmm. right here. Yeah. Nah, soccer definitely is picking up. Is that a lot? That's what y'all players be doing a lot in y'all spare time is the video games. Y'all yeah. stay competitive with that yeah. a lot. Boy, can only that. imagine. Boy, Nigga, be ta- they take it seriously? Yeah. They be really? playing for that money? Sometimes. You okay, know. okay. Yeah. Y'all big boys, y'all can do that now. Nah, you ain't going to get in trouble or nothing yeah. like that. You know, NCA watching y'all back. So nah, nothing nah. like that. I did want to get your opinion on some um, social topics that are going on right now. Um, Calvin Johnson. Yeah. One of the best to ever do it. That he received retired earlier this year at the age of thirty. Yeah. Um, he had a sit down meeting with um, one of the ESPN reporters, and they were just talking to him about the rigors and the wear and tear of football. Yeah. And he said that honestly, he couldn't even do it no more. Like he would wake up really? and not. Yeah, it was on ESPN Jeez. with Mike. He said he would wake up and not even like be able to walk sometimes. Yeah. And he able to prep his mind. And and you being you young, yeah. you in the game for three years. That, yeah. Is that something that scares you? Cause I know yo. <laughs> Honestly, I don't, I don't really think about that. Yeah. I want to have a family of my own one day, so I'm Absolutely. not just playing for me. You know what I mean? So playing for your future, I'm sacrificing you know, everything. You know what I mean? So you gotta, you know, that's come, that come with the game once you get mm-hmm. in it. So I don't think about that. I just play and just just stay prayed up. Everything gonna be cool. Nah, I feel you, but. It is a major concern. I know concussion things is a serious topic. Yeah. I know they talk to y'all a lot about that and how, you know, you can definitely test because the um, concussion protocol yeah. has completely changed from what it was. Uh, you know, from you coming into the league to what it is now, yeah. it changes every year. They're taking more um, strenuous. Um, I know you try to not have a perspective. It keeps your mind on it, but that has to be something in the back of your mind. Do you think football, in a sense, is like, is hurt? Like, as far as, like, younger kids, like, you see how FIFA's getting more popular. Do you think, like, kids are going to, like, not pay, like, want to play football as much uh-huh. or kind of go off to other sports and stuff like that? Okay. If they have role models, it, mm-hmm. it depends on their role models and okay. who, who they look up to. So, not many people from America going to be so Yeah, who can you look soccer. at to? Yeah. You know what I mean? You so, don't really see no black soccer <laughs> players killing it like yeah, that. So but I'm pretty sure, like... Just to, you know what I mean, be even. I, I think some some people are tuning their kids to playing that, you know what I mean? Soccer, I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Just playing soccer other than football. Just to, for the simple fact that it looks more safer. But it's really not because them boys be gone. They, yeah, yeah, it really be a physical game in itself. But you talked about it a little bit earlier. You said you want to have like a, you know, a family, you know, later yeah. down the line and stuff like that. Let's you know. Let's say you have a long, lengthy career. Mm-hmm. God's willing in the league. Yeah. Is that something that you would want your kids to be a part of? But the NFL, knowing like just because there was many athletes that came out yeah. and been like, honestly, Marshall Fogg was one of them. A lot of athletes came out and was like, honestly, I made I made it for a reason. I don't want my kids to to play in the league because yeah. of the you know what could happen yeah. and stuff like that. Like you see, you hear stories of Junior Seau, yeah, like and stuff life. like that. That junk is scary. Yeah, it's, it's life though. Honestly, it, it, would that prevent you? Would you prevent your like? Would you try to not prevent it, but would you like yeah. kind of detour them? Like, nah, why don't you mm-hmm. look in a baseball or give I, them a? I don't know. I, I can't say that because they're not here yet. You but right? I, like I, I probably say what Marshall Fox said. You know, I'm playing for my kids, so so they don't have to do anything but gain knowledge and wisdom. Throughout their life, you know what I mean? Going to school, mm-hmm. all those type of things. So, I say the same with him. True. So, I know you've seen them NBA contracts. you thinking about um, going back to them AAU days. Yeah, <laughs> man, I can't do that. <laughs> basketball hard. No, it's basketball, yeah. yeah. Hard, That's bro. a skill set that you, you can't just pick up a ball in. That boy, Kenny Boy, he, he was good. I'm surprised oh. he didn't make it, you know what I mean? No, there's a lot of people that in college ran, because, I, again, I was a Gator fan, too. Yeah. So, I seen Kenny. Mole UF and, 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 and we seen him down here yeah. just from being from Broward County. Yeah. yeah, no, but you know, hopefully he, he will get his break. Yeah. You know, a, a lot of them basketball is just an opportunity because you got a smaller team, so you don't get that many chances yeah. with, with that. But they they getting paid though. For real, they getting, they getting, <laughs> getting paid. Checks. 
Dela, I, well, it was Dela Dover that boy is supposed to make 58 you had freaking um, Tyler Tyler Johnson who only played for the Heat he, I think he played like like less than 12 games in two seasons started something like that and he's got a 54 year 50 mil wow <laughs> even, even though with Wade though you know what I mean he, oh yeah even though he a superstar but come on bro two year 47 and he complaining about it. Bro, that's crazy <laughs> but I don't know if you've seen that I, I was like on Bleacher Report yeah and they were like Mike Conley his contract alone is worth more than Russell Wilson Tom Brady is that that and baseball player? No, no. Uh, we Mike Conley, basketball. Memphis Grizzly point guard. I don't know him. Memphis Grizzly point guard. Yeah. Exactly. That's what makes yeah. it even worse. You don't yeah. even know him. Yeah. Memphis <laughs> Grizzly point guard. They starting point guard. He just got because he's a high. He just got a, a five year max deal, and it's like what? It's like you know what the numbers on that desk? It's like for you. Like five years, one hundred and thirty-two mil or something like that. Damn, something what? crazy. But it's one hundred and thirty-five mil actually. Damn. But it's worth more. <laughs> then those starting three NFL quarterbacks put together, man. y'all got to you gotta go talk to the union boy, nah, ask him man. some bargaining chips or something. Hey, man. <laughs> Less is more, man. Less I mean, is more. Hey, bro. it really, it really could be. It really could be. Uh, but want to get mine? Absolutely. I don't need a lot anyway. I uh, <laughs> said more money, more problems. Yeah. But definitely appreciate you for stepping through the um the podcast. You you what you what you got planned for the rest of the summer? Just, just, just training. Working? Yeah. Uh, I go back to L.A. on the 25th. So I'm down here for about another two, three more weeks. Two two more weeks. Yeah, okay. I'm just chilling. I'm coming through on y'all boys. Oh, have to. Over the last, rooftop. Of the half, last rooftop of the year. <laughs> last, so you know it's going to be a lituation. Uh, but um, definitely appreciate you for stepping through the podcast today. We definitely wish you the best of luck in this upcoming season. I know you're going to do your thing. So sure. the Gator Nation proud. All right. For sure. Appreciate it. Thank you. This is the Who Got Down podcast. That's Marcus Robinson. Continue to listen. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Friend to tell a friend. Friend to tell a friend. Friend to tell a friend.